Welcome back outside Gillette Stadium, everybody. My name is Mike Petralia, joined once again by Patriots expert columnist for WEEI.com, Christopher Price. All right, Chris, it didn't take long for there to be significant news uh, here out in uh, Patriots training camp, the first of two joint practices with New Orleans Saints, both Julian Edelman and Rob Ninkovich leaving early. Uh, Julian Edelman made a move, a sick move, on a, Patri on a uh, Saints uh, defensive back uh, safety, uh, Von Bell, turned him around and all you heard were these oohs and ahs from the family tent, the media tent, and all the, you know, the 10,000 fans on hand to watch. And then moments later, you see Julian Edelman kind of favoring, reaching down for his left foot. Then he makes his way down to the cart and is tended to by trainer James Whalen. He did not return to practice. First of all, what you're hearing on Julian Edelman. Well, the Julian Edelman situation right now, the latest report that we have is from Ian Rafford of the NFL Network. It's not considered serious. At the same time, Edelman was reaching down for some sort of left lower leg injury. We know that the left foot has been an issue for him over the course of his career. He was in and out of a walking boot over the course of the offseason. This is a guy who hasn't played in five preseason games. If I'm putting money on it, I don't think we're going to see him Thursday night against the Saints. He also had two offseason procedures uh, just this past offseason, and that's significant as well. Yeah, exactly. And, and I, want to be sure, I want to be clear here. This is, again, it's not considered to be a serious thing right now. It's more of a case if he does not play Thursday. I don't think he's going to play Thursday. It's more of a case of better safe than sorry. This is a guy who was first on the field on Sunday, just started fully padded practices. It takes time to get him ramped up. So, again, it's not so much an injury that's going to be keeping him out of this game. It's going to be a case of better safe than sorry, at least as far as I'm, you know, at least from this perspective. Obviously, if you're the Patriots, uh, some of the teammates we talked to after joint practice today, uh, Brandon Bolden and uh, the obvious one, Chris Hogan, who would probably step in and fill uh, Edelman's role along with perhaps Danny Amendola if he's back full strength. Hogan told me, he said, look, we have to go out and still compete. We see it. It sucks that Julian Edelman goes down. He walks down the field slowly, but we've got a job to do, and we've got to tend to that. Yeah, exactly. And, and Brandon Bolden was talking about how, look, a lot of it starts from him. A lot of the offense starts, you know, with Edelman and what he can do and his ability to move the chains. And so it's going to be interesting to see what direction they decide to go while he is on the sidelines. But certainly this is something right now, at least in the short term, not considered serious, but it certainly bears watching given his injury going, given his injury history going forward. Right, and fingers crossed, obviously, if you're a Patriots fan for number 11. The other injury, Rob Ninkovich, didn't even get as much uh, practice time as uh, Edelman did uh, here on Tuesday. Uh, he threw his helmet down, he shook his head and just walked off the field. The initial reports, according to Mike Reese of uh, ESPN, was that uh, it's some type of triceps issue. They were looking at his triceps. Anything you're hearing? Not considered to be a long-term thing, at least at this point. So I, I think that it is interesting and it is newsworthy that Edelman and Ninkovich both did not finish practice at the same time. Again, as is the case with Edelman, it's a case of better safe than sorry. You don't want to burn him out here in a training camp practice. You don't have him for September 11th. All right, on to the scrimmage itself with the New Orleans Saints or the 11-on-11 11 11 drills, 7-on-7 seven seven drills. Patriots did not start off well. Whether or not they were a little bit distracted, hung over by, you know, those two big players, uh, injury uh, notes going down early on in practice, whatever it was, they looked distracted. They did not execute, especially on offense. Jimmy Garoppolo uh, had another couple of passes batted down at the line of scrimmage. Tom Brady was picked off in individual drills. He was also picked off uh, during his first pass in 11 on 11s. Sheldon in, Rankins, I think. It was. Sheldon Rankins, the defensive end out of Louisville, as a matter of fact, on a pass intended for James White. What do you make of that? I, I wouldn't read too much into it. I, I think that these are the first days where the quarterbacks are challenged. And I think it's interesting to see them respond to stressful situations. That's not to say they haven't been challenged over the course of the first 10 practices, but this is the first time they have gone up against a different defense. And I think that's worth considering when you talk about the overall evaluation process of where a quarterback is at this time of the year. It's worth noting, and you kind of put it up, but it, it, it all feeds into the bigger picture here. So uh, it's, it's interesting, but it's not kind of stop the press is newsworthy. With these, at least at this point. Asked Bill Belichick early on this morning about the competition in the secondary, and he said, we're going to face one of the best passing teams in the National Football League. Again, Drew Brees uh, here in practice, and I thought toward the end, uh, the cornerback showed very well. Uh, Viangelo Bentley with a pass breakup, uh, Mark, uh, Malcolm Butler with a couple of pass breakups. It was a very strong end of practice for the Patriots today against the Saints passing game. The Butler-Cooks matchup was fascinating to watch, and it was a lot of fun to watch. And it, it certainly, I imagine it's only going to be a limited stretch 
on Thursday night, but it's going to be one of those matchups that's worth watching. Cook's going up against Butler. It was fun last year. I, I don't know. I don't think they matched up last year, but it was fun out there watching it today. I think it's going to be also a lot of fun watching Thursday night. It will indeed. For all the coverage of the Patriots, be sure to click on weei.com, the It Is What It Is blog. Christopher Price, Ryan Hannibal, and yours truly, Mike Petralia, will have complete blanket coverage of today, Tuesday. Look ahead to Wednesday, the final day of joint practices, and, of course, the preseason opener on Thursday night here at Gillette Stadium. For Christopher Price, I'm Mike Petralia, outside Gillette Stadium, weei.com.